the Lakers are messing up. What the f And they keep ignoring the obvious, LeBron as a point guard. Bubble championship or not, the Lakers actually were the number one seed in 2020, 52 and 19. Better than not making the playoffs. That's tough. LeBron led the league in assists at point guard, nearly won MVP, while the Lakers were only 23rd in three-pointers made. And who knows if they would beat the Suns in the 2021 playoffs. But before the AD injury, the Lakers and Suns were 2-2 two and two in the series. And yeah, we're gonna say injuries are part of the game, fair point. But I ain't here to talk about what ifs and AD's glass body. I was born with glass bones. Every morning I break my legs. Go! Yeah. Ow. The style of play in 2020 and to an extent 2021 was pretty clear. It's a style I made a whole video on how the Lakers were changing the NBA. We saw it with the reduction of two big man lineups. It went from 58.8% minutes league wide to just 6.4% in the 2018-2019 season. Dwight Howard wasn't even on the roster or wanted despite averaging 17 and 13 in his last full season. LeBron at point guard, AD at power forward, and a traditional center. A true big man lineup. In the midst of all these small ball lineups, Lakers said, F it, we're gonna dominate you on the inside. In the playoffs, they had the highest field goal percentage, second most field goals made per game, and only 11th out of 16 in threes made. And it worked. But for some reason, they said, nah. Let's change it up. In the 2021 season, they got Dennis Schroeder. Last year, they decided to go all in on a point guard when they already had LeBron. They went for a mini Walmart LeBron. Ah, that's interesting. And now this season, look at how many point guards the Lakers have. Russell Westbrook, Patrick Beverly, Kendrick Nunn, Dennis Schroeder. Damn. Boy, ain't no way, boy. To all those saying playing point guard is too much for LeBron, he literally played his career lowest minutes per game in the 1920 season. He also doesn't have to guard the opposing team's point guard. He can guard the shooting guard or small forward. The lineup with the most minutes in the 1920 season was LeBron, Bradley, Danny Green, Anthony Davis, and JaVale McGee, who had a net rating of plus 12.6. For comparison, the lineups with Westbrook, LeBron, and Davis were getting outscored by 3.5 points. Yeah. The Lakers need to put LeBron at point guard. What is up, dude, to that smallest players? It's your boy, MJ. The NBA is back! Woo! <laughs> So subscribe, cause we here, two videos every week giving y'all the truth. Look at the Warriors, they've been running Draymond at center as part of their best lineups for 8 years. When they had Durant, they still stuck with the free flowing offense and got mad at him for holding the ball. And it's been working for years, so why change it? Are they ready to adjust? Yeah, but they ain't just adjusting to be a new trendy team. The Lakers all of a sudden after winning a championship said let's add more point guards when they just need more shooters. And when they split time with Dennis and LeBron at point, they were still solid. While there were some good moments offensively, defensively was another matter. While LeBron may not always be giving it his all on defense. What, what the hell is this? And I'm ready for more disappointment from the Knicks and Lakers. Man, F this. Follow me on Twitter, cause all the takes and rants you don't see like on the preseason happened there. Replacing the point guard with a 3 and D player or having an athletic wing or cutter allowed for more off-ball movement, but more importantly, had one less liability defensively. The Lakers were third in defense in 2019, and most of that regular season was normal. The 2020-21 season was riddled with injuries, but even then, the Lakers continued to have a number of wings like KCP, Morris, Kuz, Karim. Russo, Wesley Matthews, and big men like Marcus Gasol to pair with Davis. It allowed for LeBron to still play point guard for a lot of stretches. In 2022, literally every single one of those role players I just mentioned were off the Lakers. AD was forced to play center, and well, the Lakers finished 21st in defense. Russ did not help. Uh, I'm out, man. LeBron may not be the floor general that moves the ball around to get everyone involved, but he is one of the best facilitators in NBA history. Look at the level of spacing and number of options the Lakers have with LeBron running the show and having players more suited to playing off ball. That's the main distinction. Point guards like Westbrook, Dennis Schroeder, and even Kendrick Nunn aren't really used to playing off ball. In their previous roles on prior teams, they all were scoring or facilitating guards. Either high usage or 
or a six man. The only point guard with more experience playing off ball on the current roster is Patrick Beverly, who wasn't relied on to create shots on any of his previous teams. None of these point guards are true playmaking guards like Rondo. Heck, not even a guy like Caruso who would compliment LeBron's own movements. LeBron playing point is part of the equation. The other part is to bench Russ, which Darvin Ham may be doing, and to have Davis actually play the four. The more you play him at the five, number one, the more you risk him getting injured. You're putting Davis in situations that he's gonna have to bang down low, and we've seen what happens with that. Post game show tonight. Here's Barrett. Randall under. Rather, let him play the position he wants to play and have a smaller four on him, which he can take advantage of offensively and still stay with defensively. Having DeAndre Jordan as your starting center in 2021 is... Why? Comes up with it. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Darwin Ham is considering using AD at the five, and that is fine for stretches in certain matchups. Think about how Lakers adjusted against the Rockets with AD at the five, then running a two big man lineup against the Nuggets and the Heat. The Lakers' best lineup in the playoffs with a net rating of 18.4 was with Davis at the four, and simultaneously was also their most used lineup. Having AD at the four and a center at five might seem counterintuitive for LeBron spacing, but it gave him lob threats. Like here, the Nuggets defense is worried about the Dwight roll to the rim. There's no one in the paint. You can see Jokic trying to come back. Grant is also sort of going back. They know that Paul Millsap can't really provide help defense because Millsap is on AD. And AD does require a bit of defensive attention. So the Nuggets have a miscommunication. Grant and Jokic both rush back and LeBron gets a wide open three. It's a split second, but that's what counts. Centers weren't fully able to commit to LeBron on a drive and still allowed AD to operate in and out of the paint and a lot of transition buckets. Then there were small ball lineups where LeBron was the biggest player on the floor. Yet even in those lineups, offensively, he was the point guard with all the spacing and cutting in the world. Defenses were completely thrown off by the variation of lineups and choices. And isn't that the point when you have a player like LeBron who can play every position? Think about Magic Johnson who could fill the gap in any lineup and be the playmaker regardless if he's a center or small forward, whatever. I really hope that Russ finds his fit on this team, man. Ain't no one want to really boo Russ. I want to make this type of video again. So Russ, Lakers, please find a way. I do think him coming off the bench would be amazing, letting LeBron be the main point guard, letting Russ raise the floor. The preseason has looked pitiful. Stop ignoring the obvious. Stop getting bored. If it works, it works. Put LeBron at point guard. We got a whole season, man. How far do you think the Lakers will go? The only notification shout out goes to my boy, day one, OG, Armand. And we're actually going to watch the Nets Raptors, Raptors' favorite team. It's gonna be fun. Thanks for the all-day support. And if you're still here, you'll really want to comment PG so I know. The season is back, doing two videos a week, so be ready. It's your boy, MJ. We out. Oh, God. Oh, God.